guys, Rushi here and welcome to After Love EP, uh, the demo version obviously. This game is from the creator of Coffee Talk and What Comes After. It is a slice of life adventure set in modern Jakarta about love, loss and finding your own way forward. Step into the shoes of Rama, a young musician struggling to move on with life after the death of his girlfriend Sinta. This is gonna hurt me. <laughs> um, this has a planned release date for the uh, third quarter of 2024, so towards the end of the year. Um, and I have played Coffee Talk. I love Coffee Talk. Um, I have not played What Comes After. However, I'd be interested possibly in giving that a, a look. Um, I do know that this was created by the creator who created Coffee Talk and the other game. And I do know that their founder and creative director died um, I can't remember if it was last year or earlier this year. It might have been earlier this year. Uh, so I know that they put this game on hold indefinitely. However, they say that the creator, his name was Muhammad Fahmi. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, however, he apparently or they apparently had a clear vision for the game. Um, and the team making this game wanted to deliver it. So this game is definitely going to hit me in my soul. I'm 100% certain. Anyway, with all that being said, I think it's time to jump in and have a look at what this game can deliver. I've lost my mouse. Okay, so let's have a look at the options. We've got audio, display, controls, and obviously gameplay. So, okay. Looks like there's going to be some rhythmic games in this. Uh, I guess it's all keyboard controls. I'm already hurting. Oh, Cinta. Is he taking them down? <gasps> oh my God, is he like taking the photos down? This is gonna, okay. So, um, Rama is a musician and Sinta is, or was his girlfriend. Well, Rama, you made it. Yeah, I still have some time before I have to be backstage. You said you wanted to give me something, right? You could have just brought it to Rossi. No way, in front of Adit and Tasia? I wanted to give it to you when it was just us. I just finished it. Here. Top secret, don't open yet. What's this? Something just for you. <laughs> Seriously, don't open it until the EP is done. Uh, that'll be a while then. Then use it as motivation. You can do it. Just concentrate, okay? We should go now. Don't want to miss your show, do we? You're right. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, supportive girlfriend. <laughs> oh, is this the band? Are you excited? Yeah, well, equal parts excited, equal parts nervous. <clears throat> Whoa, are you okay? Ugh, damn it. Ugh, damn. It's too smoky back here. Let's go outside for a bit. No, Rama, you'll miss the show. Don't worry about me. This happens all the time, remember? I'll be fine. When you go out, I'll be in the crowd cheering you on. Are you sure? That I'll, <laughs> that I'll be cheering you on? Very funny. Just be careful, okay? I always am. I might flake out on you guys. Dude, you're always like this before every performance. 
Well, I mean it this time. You might turn around and I'll be gone. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Ah! <laughs> damn, 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 damn. That's the spirit at it. <laughs> I believe in you guys. Let's do this. Positivity. Hello, beautiful people. We are Sigmund Fjord. <laughs> Sigmund Fjord? Sigmund Fjord? Is it supposed to be Sigmund Freud? Sigmund Feud. Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Feud. Sigmund Feud is how I would read that. We're going to take you on a musical journey in one, two. Woo! Rama, you're so cool. Cool. Hell yeah. I'm in a band. Whoa. Whoa, that was so good. We really rocked it. Man, I'm happy I didn't leave. What? Were you really going to? Hey, maybe. We did awesome, guys. Did you hear that crowd? You were also good. Wow, and now I'm hanging with the band. Does that make me cool by association? Absolutely. <laughs> Cinta, we should go. Wait, Rama, what about drinks? Huh? Remember, we were saying that we'd do drinks after the show. I know we said it last week, but... Oh, right. Yeah, you guys should definitely still go. That show was such a big success. It'd be a waste not to celebrate it. Yeah, but what about... I'm fine. I told you I was fine in there, wasn't I? Honestly, the fresh air out here is already making me feel better. I'll head home early. We'll talk tomorrow. See, Rama? It'll be fine. Yeah, if Cinta's cool with it, then... Fine. See you around, guys. See you, Rama. See ya. No! If something happens to- I know something's gonna happen to Cinta, but I'm already sad about it. Yeah, let's get wasted. Comfortably wasted, please. I have work tomorrow. <laughs> Comfortably wasted. I never heard it deemed comfortably wasted. I might have to use that in regular conversation. Look, I really like this art style kind of cute what are they drinking looks like jam one too many drinks hmm no i need my guitar where is it gotta get down this beat in my head come on ram get your shit together focus the beat is this beat is sick. I want to say <laughs> so. Oh. Oh, down, down. Ah. Okay. Do I have to hit it again? I don't know if I have to hit it again when it's like the, the held notes. Uh, he's got a call. Come on. No. Cinta's calling you. Please answer Cinta. Gosh, no. What a way to just absolutely reach into my chest and rip my heart out. Are you serious? <laughs> Cinder. He 
he's gonna regret that night of drinks now for like the rest of his life. Seriously, who sleeps till 1 p.m.? Don't you have work? I was not expecting voice acting. Oh my god. Hello? Come on, Nama. Get up. Who's calling you anyway? Who's talking to me? It's at it. He's at the coffee shop, of course. Perfect timing. Will you actually go? Is this supposed to be Cinta? Is she talking to me? Cinta? Is it okay that I'm here again? <gasps> oh my god. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I always want you here. I never wanted you to leave. I'm gonna cry. This is. But I'm happy to hear it. Hi, Cinda. I told Adit a while ago that I had an idea for the band. I think I'm finally ready for us to get back out there. Don't rush yourself. These things take time. Yeah, you're right. But I want them to hear my new ideas. It's been a year since we played together. Who knows what they've been doing this whole time? Nothing, I bet. You're their singer and songwriter. Go tell them your new ideas. You got this, Rama. Thanks, Cinta. It's been a year. Meet us at the studio. God damn it, Rama. You'll still sleep, aren't you? Hey! Sorry, I just woke up. I'll get there ASAP. All right, you better get here fast. Okay, see you soon. I can fully move around now. Look how cool this is. Okay. I want to look at some of my stuff. So I can... Should I play my guitar now? Do you want to play? She sounded so much like... Do you want to play too? It'll be fun. <laughs> I don't... What is that? That's League of Legends. Is that Lulu? Probably. Yeah, I want to play it. I'm gonna play my guitar. I'm amazing. Hell yeah, vibin'. Do, 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 do. Let go. Oh my god, it actually has. Oh, I missed it. Shit. My bad. I wanna be good. This is amazing. I figured it out, by the way. You have to let go at the end. Yeah, Rama, you're great. Damn it, I missed it. I thought I had it. This is actually really good. I missed it. I didn't let go. <laughs> oh shit. Energetically enjoy rhythm games. And I always have. I used to be a big connoisseur of tap tap. Let's just say that. Now remember to let go, Rashi. Bah! Hell yeah. That was great.
I really actually really like that song. I'll have to see what it's called afterwards. I was supposed to meet at it in the coffee chat cafe, but I want to look at this. Hey, is that my Rain Chudori novel? I thought I lost it, Rama. Uh, I stole it, Soz. My bad. <clears throat> Which one's my door? Is this my bathroom? Oh, yeah. Cute. All right, let's go to the coffee shop. I've done enough messing around with my guitar. Oh my god! Hi, dude. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Rama. You were practicing guitar again last night, huh? Yep. I think it might be this way. I don't know where to go. Is there a map? There is a map. Looks like the map app's on maintenance again. Damn. I got a photo album. I got a calendar. I have at it is my messenger and it's sunny. Damn. All right. Well, what about my? That's just the text log. Wait, block W is not this way. Oh. Guess we're going to block W wherever that is. Hello, children. My apartment's really cute, though. I like it. Hi. Whoa. So yeah, that's really cool. So we're in Jakarta, Indonesia. That's right. Which I should know. My sister, she's, my, my brother's partner is from Jakarta. So I'm not gonna lie. She makes the best fucking food. It's so good. <laughs> I love that that's what I associate with that. I'm like, hell yeah, the food. But it is, it's so much more flavorful than what we get here in Australia. Although to be fair, we have a lot of like different cultural groups within Australia, which I love. And so if there's anything different that you want to try, it's just a matter of finding the correct area and going and trying it like and everyone's usually so welcoming i can go into the record store there aren't any new releases i'm interested in well then can i talk to you hi oh hey didn't you guys have the studio book for tonight oh no sorry i came in here by accident okay i'll get going yep i guess i came in here by accident oh the alpha alpha released a new album I want to hear it. Amazing. Hi. Good morning. I feel like you're moving in a new rhythm today. I woke up feeling a simple four out of four, but you? You're polyrhythmic. You're polyrhythmic today. Enjoy that. Okay. Oh. I want to hear it. I did that already. My bad. So I guess this is where we come to record stuff. All right. I should probably go to the coffee shop. But yeah, like I was... Oh, hello. Uh, is that a left or a right? How am I supposed to point the map the right way if I don't know where I am to begin with? I don't know. This is cute, though. The art style is crazy. Ah, the coffee shop. We found it. Poetry reading. But yeah, like I was saying, I love that we have so many different, like, vibes and cultures in our country because it you know it makes your cultural exposure better rama over here i guess if that's a way like for example i grew up with an irish father um northern irish he's from belfast and so majority of the foods that we would eat growing up were like fry ups traditional spaghetti bolognese but not like the italian version like the british version that they learned how to make during the war because it was easy um simple curries that he brought over with him which of course is again a british thing because they eat a lot of curry over there like so it's very very like 
a lot of bland foods. Flavorful, yes, but ultimately not exactly very broad. So the fact that I have a bunch of different options in my country to go and try means that I can just experiment with what I like and with what food I enjoy. And I found that I love uh, Vietnamese food, specifically I love Vietnamese food. Um, I love Indonesian food. Indonesian food is amazing. And I love Japanese food. But uh, the one thing I struggle with is fresh fish. I don't know. We used to do multicultural day a lot when I was a child. And I think that was one of the first times that I actually ever experienced different types of foods because it was, whoa, coffee noises. Yeah, for multicultural day, our teachers asked each of um, the kids that we had in our school to pick like a culture that we wanted to explore and then to bring food from that culture. I took poffages <laughs> because my uh, pie is Dutch. So I was like, I want to make some poffages. <laughs> but they had so much different varieties of foods and flavors and I learned so much and I just want more of that. I feel like it's very important. Rama, Adit and his friends have been here waiting for you. And he really can't shut up about it. I'm so sorry, Kakmoos. No worries. You don't have to order anything, by the way. Huh? Why? Adit made sure to order for you. I think it's so you don't have to waste more time waiting for the drink to be made. Ugh, what did he order? Cold green tea latte, less ice. Phew. He really knows your favorite drink, huh? I guess I'll go see them right away. Thank you for making the drink, Kuk. Thank you, Katmos. Anytime, kiddo. Hi. Took you long enough, friend. Also, long time to see. Seriously. Uh, Regina, it's nice to see you. Long time. Can I be honest? You said you wanted to meet, but we didn't think you'd show. Hmm. Is honesty really the best policy? It had been forever since we heard from you, and then... I know, I know. Suddenly, I'm like, hey, let's get the band back together out of nowhere. Weird, right? Back together? Oof. Well, let's wait to meet up with Tasia this evening before we talk band stuff. She's not coming now? No, looks like she's still caught up at work. Tasia and her many jobs. She's always so serious. Yeah, it's honestly annoying that she's at work. Hey, what about that? Hey, what about that last job you had? How's that going? I don't want to talk about it. And by that you mean he got fired, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, I'm not that predictable. It just wasn't a good fit, you know? Sure, sure. You say that each time that you leave a job. Tasia may always be working, but you never hear her complaining about being stressed. I mean, if you had big dreams like her, maybe you'd be stressed too. Way to be sensitive at it. Bro, I didn't mean it that way. Tasia has long-term plans that she doesn't always share. Hey, I have big dreams too. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Big dreams. Sigmund Fjord. Fjord. Sigmund Fjord. You're the best band name I've ever heard. I know, right? We should have a practice session tonight. Tonight? Dude, it's been a year. I'm so rusty. Don't cut yourself short at it. You're a great drummer. <sighs> Thanks. Besides, we didn't just come here for you, Rama. Did you try the new mint latte? It's so good. Trust Regina to think of herself. <laughs> she's only here because she's dating Adit. And why? I'll never know. Hey, that's kind of mean. What? Huh? Uh. Oh, looks like you're not the only one who's interested in this latte, Regina. Over there, isn't that your friend? Huh? Oh. Regina! I hope I'm not interrupting. I heard they have a new mint latte, and since I'm finally on break, I wanted to try it. Great minds. <laughs> and no, you're not interrupting. Sit, sit, join us. Hi, everyone. Guys, this is Mira. She's an agent at my modeling agency. She runs things in that office. You should see her in action. Okay, now you're just saying that. Nope. Adi, you remember Mira, don't you? Yeah, what's up? And this is our friend Rama. Hey. 
Mira, right? Mira? I don't remember seeing you before. Was it Mira? Yes, hello. You're in the band, right? With Adit? I bet she thinks it's Adit's band. Why would you think that? Huh? Huh? You, so you're not in the band with Adit? Oh, oh, no I am. I'm the singer, the songwriter and the guitarist. In other words, the band would fall apart without him. Actually, the band did fall apart without him. Oh, uh, Adit, please. It was a joke. W well, hey, that just means you're really talented, huh? You're more talented than people give you credit for. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be back. I'm just going to run to the bathroom. I'll come with you. Girls going together. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was... Hmm? Well, huh? Awkward. You and Adit used to be so close. I'm still close. What? Smooth. Um, so you need to stop talking out loud to this person in your brain. What's the band been up to since I've been gone? Since you've been grieving, you mean? Yeah. Hey, no one's saying that what happened to Sinto was easy. We all felt it. If I were you, I don't know how I would have dealt with it. Right. Definitely wasn't easy. But on the other hand, you kind of left us in a lurch, bro. We didn't hear from you for ages. We were pretty worried too. And now you re-emerge telling us you have big plans for the band. Well, we had plans too, and we had to put them on hold. <sighs> He's being so mean right now. He doesn't even understand. Yeah, this is so unlike him. Unlike who? Unlike, uh, you. Yeah, you don't understand at all. I do get it. You've been through a lot. But I guess the therapy is working, huh? What therapy? Remember after Cynthia's funeral, you said you'd try seeing a therapist? I guess you didn't. I did. Well, a little. But I could start going now. It could be fun to try. Her definition of fun is weird, Dama. Well, hey, what do I always say? Baby steps, right? She never says that. First time I'm hearing it. Well, I want to start, so just roll with it, okay? Dama? Therapy? I did say that, huh? I thought it might help. I thought I could get better. Maybe move on. And do you want to? We move on. That is. This is heartbreaking. Nobody knows than here in your head. That's fine. I don't want you to leave. Or at least I don't think so. But who knows? Therapy might help me with my songs. Uh, the band songs. No, no, Rama. You're right. They're your songs. I bet Mira would agree when she hears them. Yeah. She seems so much like Regina. Do you think her visit here is just a coincidence? You mean like Adit and Regina planned it? I don't know. Hmm. Well, just think about it. Hey. Oh, therapy can't be the only answer, you know. You were fine before. She didn't say that line. <laughs> We're back. Did you miss us? Ugh, Adit, were you just on your phone the whole time? No, I just looked down for a second to watch a video. Mm-hmm. Rama, help me out here. Adit and I had a real good talk about the band, about therapy. Yeah, Rama said he'd give it another try. Both the band and therapy. I wish I could make it to this impromptu practice you have this evening. I'm so curious. Rama inviting everyone after such a long time. Mostly, you just want to see Tasia's reaction. Is Tasia usually strict? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Not usually, but these days. Let's say strict is the nice way of putting it. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, look at the time. My lunch break is almost over. It was so nice seeing you all. And meeting you, Rama. Why did she single you out? Maybe because she hasn't met me before. I, uh, yeah. Oh. This is the first time you've met, right? Uh, of course, yeah. Well, like I said, I have to get back to work. You and work. Ugh, it's okay to take a breather every now and then. You get along so well with Tasia, although you'd never be able to hang out because you're both always working. <laughs> well, someone has to book you those high paying jobs. I'll see you later at it. Rama, I hope your practice goes well. We should be heading out too, right, Adi? Yeah, there's a movie we're trying to catch. Hopefully we don't miss it. 
If we do, you'll owe me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you two go ahead. I don't want to make you late. Will you be okay on your own, I mean? I'm never really alone. Mm, that's true, but you sound like a character from a bad movie. No way. Huh? I mean, I'll be fine. See you two later. And Adit, don't be late for practice. I'm never late. Unless I'm late. <laughs> you know, Robert, you could try just replying in your head. <laughs> hey. I'm never really alone. <laughs> what are you? A cowboy? Came out way more ominous than I thought. Cornier too. <laughs> hey. Do you think you will show for the practice? Yeah, I think so. Before everything that happened, we had real dreams. We always talked about making it big. There's no way they'd turn their backs on that. Um, to be fair, wasn't it you who turned your back first? You left them for a year. I was going through a lot, but I'm ready to get back out there now. It'll all be fine at the band practice later. You'll see. Yeah, I guess I will. I think therapy would be really, really good for him. <laughs> Did I just fucking vibe here all day? See you later. Time to go to the band practice. Uh, and I, if I'm remembering it correctly, it was this way. Uh, a really cool record store. Is this the thin the cinema? The cinema is what I meant to say. Here it is. Let's go. Demonos. Hey! Pool party today? Enjoy your jam session. Thanks. Did that just beat me as I walk past? I'm kind of nervous. Add it, Tasia, you came. Rama, you came. Oof, walked right into that. I might have deserved that. Tasia, long time no see. Yeah, long time. You look well rested. Whoa, is she mad? I don't think so. What, so you're not well rested? Maybe she meant it like a joke. I'm not too sure. Okay, happy to have you back, I think. She thinks. So, so, wanna fill us in on what's been going on? Who, me? Well, who else has been missing in action for the last 365 days? <laughs> oh my God, she's being so mean, right? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, why don't we all take turns? I can go first. So, for the last year, I've been really into this recipe blog I found. Recipe blog? What is that? What about the band? Uh, well, me next. I've been working almost non-stop, been doing some other stuff on the side too. In fact, today I worked a bit extra at Haro, then out of nowhere I get a text from a ghost. No, not a ghost, a bandmate, one who ghosted us for a year. And he said that he's ready to show us some new stuff. Honestly, I'm honored. Yeah, she's mad. Yeah. Well, she doesn't really have a right to be. What? Are you even listening to me? I knew this was going to be a bad idea. Wait, what's a bad idea? This, maybe. Tasia. Rama, where were you? Oh, where were you? Where was I? What do you mean? I've been here. It just took me a while to be ready after everything. How could I have known that? They're being a little unfair to you. You've gone through a lot. Yeah, exactly. But I think now's the perfect time to get back at it, restart the band. I've been thinking on a new direction with some new songs. I have some different inspirations now. It's still me, isn't it? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what about what I said earlier? What if I'm rusty? Hmm. We didn't have a lot of practice time after Rama abandoned us. Can she lay off you? You did the best you could. Hey, hey. Why don't we play one of our songs together first? I'm Rusty. Rama's probably Rusty. Tarsia's... Tarsia's always perfect, obviously. Add it. Yeah, let's do it. It'll be like riding a bike after a whole year of pretending it didn't exist. 
Tasia, come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Audit. Count us in. She's being a little mean. Like, he lost his girlfriend. <laughs> That's not an easy thing to go through, but I guess, yeah, he did ghost them for a year. I guess that was also not the correct response, but then again, who really knows how someone's going to deal with something like that? Sounds so familiar for some reason. Why does this sound so familiar to my brain? I'm thinking I'm getting better at this. <laughs> Damn it, I was trying to get it perfect. Hell yeah, Tasia. Let's go. See, look. I'd eat your rusty, but you sound amazing. It's just like riding a bike, just like Tasia said. Damn it. singing too hell yeah get into it Awesome. That was Tasia, huh? Oh, yeah, it was good. Actually, it's better than I thought it would be. See, they shouldn't have doubted you. Exactly. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, we didn't say all that, but you know, add it. That new backbeat thing was really cool. And Tasia, I could hear some extra notes in your solo. How did you know to do that? Did you practice or something? Actually, yeah. Oh, they tried to replace, to replace you. you. Oh. They tried to replace me. I don't think that's it. Rama, hey, are you listening? I, I am. I like the new additions, but our fans might not recognize it. Maybe we can stick to the old way of playing it? But why? It sounds so much better with the additions. And I think our fans will like it. Adit agrees. Whoa, whoa, hey, don't drag me into this. But that's what you said last month. Last month? Without you? I mean, do you expect them to have waited around a whole year, to be fair? No. Why don't we take a break? Five minutes, maybe. What do you say? Yeah, a break would be good. I can't believe they don't trust you anymore. Do you think that's what it is? Yeah, what else could it be? You took some time away and now they're acting like you neglected them. Like they don't care about your pain. Okay. That's a bit much. I think they care, but then also they're in pain as well, most likely. Maybe. You gave your everything to this band. Don't they see that? This is gonna be unhealthy as hell for you. You practice these songs together, so why change the arrangement now? Do you think they have other plans? I don't know. We always did everything for the band together. But now they're acting as if they don't know me anymore. I don't know what I should do. Stick to your plan. Make them understand how you feel. You can't lose. 
He very can lose. He very easily. Thanks, Sinta. You've always believed in me the most. <laughs> of course. You're a star, Rama. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, this is so sad. Rama, what do you think? Yeah, a new arrangement isn't that different, right? Plus, maybe our fans want something new. It has been a year. Don't lose. Right. It's not bad, but maybe it's too new. Don't you agree? Is that a question or a demand? Besides, the older style will suit our newer songs a lot better. What newer songs? I've been working on something. I'll show you both next week. Ugh, we don't have time. What? Tasia. No, Adit. Listen, Rama. We don't have time to delay because... Because we have a gig coming up at the end of the month. Whoa. What? Since when? Since that club promoter emailed me back. What? So sneaky. I can't believe she didn't tell you. Wait, did you know? Uh... Adit, come on. Well, Rama, listen, I'll explain everything. I've been getting a lot of calls from people. About what? Will you just let me finish? Fine, go on. Promoters have been reaching out. They wanted to see us play. I had to tell them that we were on hiatus. I think the words she used were forced hiatus. Thanks, Adit. Hey, that's why I'm here. Okay, so what does that have to do with anything? Well, a few months ago, another club promoter reached out. I said no, naturally, but hearing from them made me feel like I wanted to practice. So I did. So we did. Yeah, but without you, Rama, we didn't have a show. So I told him no for now and didn't hear from him again. But then you texted earlier this week saying you wanted to get back in the studio. I was shocked. It came out of nowhere, but it also felt like divine timing. I emailed the promoter and he said we have a spot opening for Lao Falfa at his club. We just need to perfect our set. She makes it sound like it's so easy. Rama? Did you hear what I said? An opening spot with La Falfa. That's so sudden. Oh, well, I always used to deal with bookings before, so... Oh, yeah, of course. I didn't mean it that way. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. It's not. I just wish you'd said something before. Well, I tried, but you never answered any of my texts. You were so wrapped up in your own world. Grieving. Tell her. I was grieving, Tasia. Well, tell him the other part. What other part? You've been away for a while now, Rama. And I'm tired of working so hard and doing so much. I want to be a musician, not work in coffee shops forever. Ow. Kakamu's catching strays and they're not even here. So, this other band, Genuine Disconnection, they reached out and... They want to work with you, right? Yeah. Genuine Disconnection is a pretty cool name, though. Sigmund Feud is better. It's Sigmund Remember Feud. Came up with it? I do, yeah. Although we kind of did it together. Uh, I remember it differently. Yeah, well. Well, what? Rama, pay attention. I am. You're saying you want to leave. I get it. Mama, I wouldn't have come here if that was the case. But I do want to give a music career a serious try. I can't just be at the whims of someone who decides when he wants to be a band. Ouch. Well, it's true. So I'm giving an ultimatum. Ah, like that show. Yes, but this time no one's getting married. Instead, we have less than a month to get our shit together before the show. If we do it, I stay. We open for Lauf Alpha. We make a real go of this. If we don't, then I'll be joining a different band. Terms like that, it's not fair. Right, Rama? It isn't. Tasia, I want to play. I want to be in a band with you guys. Then prove it. Our songs are solid, and opening for Love Alpha would be a dream. So we're agreed. We'll do band practices in the evening so it won't interfere with your therapy. Huh? What? Adit said you'd be doing therapy sessions. Did he now? Uh. I think it's a good idea. You've been through a lot lately. Talking to someone for an even perspective might help. Hey, you do have an even perspective. <clears throat> right here. 
No, 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 no. That's a bad idea. But also, I feel like Tarsi is being a little unfair. <laughs> Just a little bit. I said I'd try. I didn't say I'd go for sure. Hmm. Yeah, but trying is going. At least once. Why don't you go tomorrow? He's so encouraging. Too bad he's not this encouraging with his girlfriend. Why don't you go tomorrow? Yeah, because therapy is that easy to get. Would you encourage Regina like this? Huh. I guess. I don't know. Why are we talking about her all of a sudden? Oh, you told me before that you wanted to get out of here early, remember? Don't you have to call Regina or something? Uh, I completely forgot. Again. I don't even know why she's dating you. Finally, Tasha and I agree. Let's pack up for today then. And we'll make band practice as a regular thing. We're making it to the show, Tasia. Okay. Cynthia? Yarama? Do you think I should actually try therapy? Is there something wrong with me? You're perfect, Lama. No. Therapy isn't only when something's wrong, though. I've heard they can help you sort out all sorts of things. Yeah. Oh, hey. Maybe a therapist could even help you with the band. How? Get their opinion on Tasha's ultimatum. I don't think it's fair. She's being too controlling, isn't she? Well, Tasia was always really serious about the band. Just like me. She was also taking jabs at you the whole time. Didn't you notice? I didn't really. What? Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I just mean that I've known Tasia for a while and I understand her. Understand her? Sounds like you've already made up your mind. Go to the therapist then. You'll see I'm right. So now I'm fighting with the voice in my head. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Cynthia? Well. <laughs> okay. It's now Saturday. Well, this game set in 2017. Cool. Today's the day, I guess. You don't have to do this, you know. You told me to. Go to therapy and all. What are they gonna tell you that you don't already know? I promised I'd try, Cinta, for the band, for myself too. Fine, suit yourself. Cinta, not again. Good morning, Mr. Rama. Your appointment with Dr. Santi is scheduled. Please do not forget to attend. We're looking forward to seeing you. Okay. But Moati Street, number 10. Okay, I'll be there. I'm coming. We're going to therapy. I think it's this way. Yes. And it's number 10. Sweet. Good morning. Hi. Oh, wow. Look at all the scooters. Oh, this is where we did the performance last time. Pizza Hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, eat some Pizza Hot. Oh, it's in here. Rama, just through those doors, please. Thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello, you must be my last minute appointment. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay, it happens. So, Rama, why don't you tell me a little bit about why you're here? Me, uh... I don't think she's going to speak if you don't. Uh, well, why I'm here, huh? Take your time. This meeting is to find out if we're a good match. So if we're not, then I don't have to come anymore. That's right. Talk therapy works best when both parties feel there's trust. But if you don't feel I'm someone you can open up to, then you shouldn't force it. I just want you to be honest with yourself. <sighs> She's really attentive, isn't she? You 
I... Well, I guess I'm here because I... Talk about the band. Because I'm in a band. Alright, and um, what about the band do you want to talk about? Well, we were on a hiatus for a long time, and now that we're back together, it feels different. I feel lost, like I don't know what to do. My friends act like they don't trust me. One of them wants to leave. She used to be so carefree, but she gave me an ultimatum yesterday. Sorry, I'm rambling. No, this is fine. I want to hear about what's been going on with you. Sounds like the changes in your friend are causing some friction. Yeah, I want the same thing she wants, but she's being unreasonable. And why do you think that is? She... we... A year ago something happened and she... Mama? Did this event have an effect on her? I never thought it did. I didn't think it had as big of an effect as it had on me. I didn't have time to think of anything else. I see. Sounds like it was a bit of a disruptor, don't you think? It came, it shuffled, you and your friend, and now your band is feeling the pinch. Have either of you talked about this event together? Not really, we don't have much to say about it. Is that a fact or is that your assumption? Maybe it's my assumption. It's just that Cinta was just her friend, but Cinta was my girlfriend. I was the one who was hurting the most, I know it. And she didn't, she didn't even care. Hmm. What's she writing? So something happened to this center, and you feel your reaction is the only one that matters. That's mean. Well... Wait, no, I didn't say that. Okay, well, let me read back what you did say, okay? You said you were the one hurting the most. I know it. Does that sound like a fact or more like an assumption? It's... I... When we project our feelings onto others, we create a divide. We make it seem like it's us against them, when in reality it's not. It's really us against or with the larger issue. It's really us against or with the larger issue. And what might that larger issue be, Rama? Yeah, I mean, it is kind of like he's disregarding the fact that they were probably grieving to... Cinta, she... Mama, no. She... she's gone. She's gone, but I still hear her. She's still with me. I can't let her go. <laughs> Sorry. No need for apologies. I'm really sorry for your loss. Losing a loved one is never easy. We all carry it differently. You and your friend have carried it into the band. Have you given yourself time to press have you given yourself time to process it all? I don't I don't know. I'm sorry. It's okay. It isn't linear. The only thing you can do is give yourself space and time. It's what you can do for your friend as well. I bet you she's hurting. Does it seem that way to you too? It does. It actually does. I didn't even think Tarsia would be feeling that way. And that's okay, but we can't unknow something, so going forward there's room for change. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Did I fail? <laughs> no, there's no pass or fail here. Just honesty, and I thank you for yours. We've come to the end of our time today, Rama. How do you feel? Pretty raw. A bit weird. Digging up feelings can be difficult. Rest more today, stay hydrated too. And I would love it if you came back for another session. I think I would too. Speak to my attendant at the front desk to meet with me again. And I hope I see you very soon. That seemed positive and helpful. Ah, oh, if only I could find a therapist like that. That would be great. <laughs> Cinta, come back. Cinta? I'm here. I don't think you needed to tell her all those things. I think you did, Rama. What does it matter? It won't change the past. Yeah, but the past isn't the thing that needs to change. It's the future. <laughs> yeah, but it felt good saying it out loud. You can't ignore your past. Sometimes it's good to talk about things. You mean you don't like talking to me? No, I didn't mean it that way. Dr. Santi is cool. I think I'll try to go back. Sure. Whatever you want, Rama. I wonder if she'll make you realize that I'm not real. But how not? I can hear you. Sometimes I can see you. Nama, I don't think I want to talk about this anymore. Okay. 
You free? I'm at Harrow tonight if you want to meet. Okay, see you there. See ya. Hey, Rama. I hope you're having a good one. Oh, Rama, just through those doors, please. She'll just let me in whenever. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, Haro, which is the place that we performed at, right? That's where she works. Rama, I'm filming my next fashion haul soon. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends. Tell your more unfortunate friends too. <laughs> yeah, you get it. That's so funny. Hi. Hey, babe. Just checking we're still good for the weekend. Perfect. I can't wait. You on the phone? Maybe. I guess so. Haro. Let's go. Let's go. She works here. Hmm. Hey, wait a second. Oh yeah, wasn't that the time? Am I having a flashback? No. Oh, Cinta! Didn't she give me a letter that I could open? <laughs> He's waiting for her and she's just sketching him. <laughs> oh. This would be so difficult to go through. Honestly, like, I can't even begin to understand. Everyone's always like, you, I, I sympathize or I empathize or I understand what you're going through. And it's like, well, you might have gone through something similar maybe, but I feel like it's personal to everyone. It's different for everyone. So I don't know. I couldn't even begin to understand. <sighs> so nostalgic. Sinta always liked being here in the nighttime. Yeah, she did. She was weird like that. Whenever we were about to close, she'd say she wanted to come in. I remember. Yeah, Sinta did always have interesting ideas. Remember when she wanted to do karaoke here? Yeah. Thanks for coming, Rama. I couldn't stop thinking about our meeting yesterday. Did you call to apologize? Ha! <laughs> Not really. But I think I was a bit hard on you. Sinta was your girlfriend, and it always sucks losing someone you love. Yeah, but Cinta was your friend too. That's what the therapist told you to say, isn't it? Well, she was, Cinta. So what if it was? Rama? Sorry, I mean, yeah, Cinta was your friend, right? Yeah, she was. Man, it just sucks so much. What happened wasn't fair at all. It made me realize some things. Things like what? Things like we can't take life for granted, that our connections matter. And that I want to be a rock and roll star. <laughs> yeah, me too. Still? Oh good, I was afraid you abandoned us. Like seriously. No way. It took me a long time, but I'm back. I want to do this with you. Love to hear it. Have you really been fielding offers from other bands? Yeah, your girl is in high demand, Rama. You thought I'd sit at home all day? I'm a hot commodity. Looks like Basha's back to normal. Genuine disconnection isn't even the first one to contact me, you know. Really? Yeah. I've been our manager for a while, and other local bands have taken notice. It's not just my playing, even though I am seriously good. <laughs> right. I keep us on track. I book all our shows. I'm out there making connections. For yourself? For us. But others see how hard I work, and they want to reward me. By taking you away from us? Dude, there was no us to take me away from. You've been a hermit. I'm not saying it's my proudest moment, but their deals have been pretty good. And I want a future, Rama. I can't keep working like this forever. I know you don't know what that's like. Was that a dig? Wow. I get it, I get it. So, are we good? No more band friction? Yeah, we're good. I couldn't stay mad at you for long, my friend. Phew. Can't imagine writing this section into our official band autobiography. And then Rama and Tasia had a brawl in the middle of Haro. 
Your imagination's intact, I see. Never left. I've missed you, Tasia. I missed hanging out. Yeah, same here, um. See you at band practice next week? Hey, you better be seeing me more often than that. Don't be a stranger. I'm at Haro most days. Come hang. I could even get you a discount. Now I'm intrigued. Cheap. See you around, Roma. Okay, so I'm 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 kind of getting the vibe of this game. So we've got days where we can go and hang out with people, or we could go to therapy, or we could do all these things, like practice. It's very interesting. All right, so now we're on Sunday. And the 30th is the gig. So it's basically a month in the life. Thanks, Cinta. I'm bored. I wish I had a muse or something. I should go to the record store. Hey, Jinx! We thought the same thing. Yay! Maybe new music can bring me the inspiration I need. All right. Okay, time to go to the record store. Let's go. And we know that the record store is this way now. Or should I go to therapy? <laughs> I love how he's not even holding on. Like, he's just that confident that he'll be fine. Can I run? Oh, I can. I've been walking this whole time. I can fully just run places. I did not expect that. Can I go in the mall? Oh, I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm in the alleyway behind the block. Okay. There are a lot more places that I can go that I didn't realize. And I did not realize I could run and I'm mad at myself for not realizing that. Damn it. <laughs> can I actually go in the mall? Oh, I can! Oh, this game's fun. <laughs> Yeah. Alrighty. We're going to the record store. We're doing what it told me to. Whoop. What it told me to do. Let's go. Hi. Oh, the Alpha Alpha released a new album. I want to hear it. Okay. So I guess we're we're listening to it. Hi. Oh, hey, it's you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I've just seen you poking around in here before. Been a while. You looking for anything in particular? He looks cool. I bet he knows a lot about music. You should ask him for help. Inspiration, I guess. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. What are you feeling? Something new? Classics? A little avant-garde? Anything I haven't heard before, I guess. Well, that narrows it down. Yeah, sorry, I'm just having a little, you know, writer's block. Hey. Is it that obvious? Don't, Don't take this the wrong way, but you're a little heavy on the emo singer-songwriter vibes. He's reading you like a book, <laughs> Just a little. Well, if I'm so transparent, why don't you suggest something? That's literally my job. I'm sorry, I guess I'm just feeling a little frustrated with myself right now. That's a start. What do you mean? You're a dense one, aren't you? Music is supposed to make you feel. Be on the actual composition of it. Come, I've got something for you. I like being called dense. Yeah, it's something that I really look forward to. Let me put it in your ear. Let me put it in. <laughs> Aww. I loved that. That transition of how loud it was into the soft. Oh, that was that was amazing. Thank you, older inspirational person who works at the record store whose name I don't know. So what do you think? I don't know, it sounded kind of old. Wow, it's a good thing you're cute. How did it make you feel? I guess it sounded pretty cheerful. Hopeful, almost. Interesting. What's interesting? Bet you wouldn't guess the songwriter was going through a nasty divorce when he wrote this. Yeah, you're right, I wouldn't have. Maybe he was like relieved to be getting out of it. 
Al contraire, mon amour. What? He loved his wife. Way he tells it, he wanted to remember the good things, so he wrote a song. I think I get it. So, like, better to have loved and lost? That's the spirit, champ. See? You're not so dumb after all. What's this guy's problem? You know, I don't usually let record store clerks be this mean to me. Well, I'm no ordinary clerk. I'm your muse for the day, baby. Plus, you look like you could use a little tough love. Funny you should say that. I think I've actually heard this song before. Pretty sure my father used to listen to it when I was a kid. But it didn't feel the same. You're not the same person, are you? That's the great thing about music. It means different things to different people. No one's life is the same, but we all have similar experiences. And it can always teach you something new about yourself, regardless of the artist's intentions. So like, how did you hear about this song? Did your parents listen to this album too? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. <gasps> I think you offended him. Served him right. Sorry, did I say something wrong? What? No, uh, sorry, just wasn't expecting that kind of question. That's what I get for being too real. I just haven't seen them in like 20 years. Oh. I'm sorry, didn't mean to hit a sore spot. Don't be sorry. Cinta! No, he wasn't! <sighs> Not your fault, man. Besides, as an artist, you can't be afraid to talk about the hard stuff. And sometimes you're gonna offend people. You can't let that stop you from being who you are. That's pretty good advice. Damn right it is. Just don't take it too far. There's a fine line between eccentric and asshole. Who is this guy? <laughs> he is my spirit guide. <laughs> I never actually got your name. It's Satria. Or it's Satria. It's Satria. Thanks for your help, Satria. My name's Rama. What? He knew the whole time? How did you... You rent the studio space upstairs. Of course I know who you are. Listen, I've got one more piece of advice for you. I'm listening. There's a poetry reading in W Block tonight. Happens every week. You should go. Take your mind off of music for a minute and just go listen to someone else's bullshit. Trust me, it'll help. You don't have to listen to this guy. I want to listen to this guy, Sinta. Don't think about it. Just do it. Um, okay, I guess. You promise? Y yes, sir. Good boy. I expect a full report from you next time I see you. Now get out of here. I gotta go organize some vinyls or something. Thanks, Satria. You're welcome, Rama. See you around. I like Satria a lot, actually. Sinta does not like Satria. <laughs> okay. Time to go to a poetry event. <laughs> Just living my full life. Where's the bookstore? Yeah. Okay. I vaguely remembered. <gasps> you haven't been anywhere this busy in a while. I haven't. I didn't know there was such a big poetry scene in the city. Rama? Hmm? Oh, it really is you. We met the other day, remember? It's Regina's friend. I think her name was Mira. It is Mira. Yeah, it's Mira, right? Yep. Heh. I guess after you see me once, you see me everywhere, like a Mira curse or something. Or maybe you're just a poetry fan? Uh, a friend recommended this place to me. Because I'm running low on inspiration for my song. Huh. Well, you've come to the right place. You are a poetry fan, then? Well, she's... <clears throat> A That's fan. not true, Cinta. I'm not a poetry fan and I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it is true. Why? Is that surprising? I mean, considering your day job <laughs> and what Regina boasted about you. Oh, right. It feels a bit... Yeah, more. Huh. Even the most straightforward corporate slave needs a medium to tell a story. Maybe not all have the need to do so, but I feel like I am blessed to have such an epiphany. And you chose poetry? I guess so. What kind of story do you want to tell? Why stick to just one story? I use poetry to explore my personal life, my dreams, the world I live in. Not that you'd know it from the end result. Oh, and calling to the stage, our regular Mira. Huh? That's my cue. Wish me luck, Rama. She's a poet. Hell yeah, Mira. 
I love your little red streak in your hair. <laughs> Thumbs up! You can do this! We may find the nameless man in unscrupulous places. <gasps> under the dying sun where he had gone. He lost a love so dear by the crimson rage. Where joy was supposed to go. A lacking figure of bone and skin. He had pleaded with the devil. Then that got away. Oh my! Oh all the riches my the God! He had to offer. The fiend asked for but one name, and thus the nameless man reveled in bloody jubilation, with a mistress on one arm and a cup of curses in the other. Did her voice just blend into fucking centers? Oh my god. <laughs> so what did you think? Was I any good? It was really good. You've got to tell her, Rama. I, um, that's, uh, that's new? Oh, sure. I got it. But I got a chill down my spine just now. That was so intense. You seem to be pretty popular too. Oh, you're exaggerating. They just like me because I help out with organizing the events. Oh, you're working here at night? Am I bothering you? Sorry. No, not at all. All my work is done before the event. Wait, so Regina says you have a shining career during the day and you're organizing events at night? How do you have so much energy? Huh, you flatter me. Mira, this equipment. Oh, that sounds like the Call of Duty to me. I think I should go too. We should hang out some other time. If you're interested, of course. We have a regular session at the bookstore. Sounds good. Catch you later, Mira. See ya. Well then. <laughs> that was um interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Sunday's done. It's now Monday. Another day. That's right, another day. You sound so happy about it. I wish I could be. I'm just excited. Excited? About what? The song you're gonna write today. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. Your songs always turn out great. I appreciate that, but I haven't even sought it. Yeah, but you have an idea, right? Uh, I thought you would give me one, maybe. New music and slam poetry isn't giving you the required inspiration? Nothing's working. I just feel so much pressure. Why don't we try to take your mind off of things? Do a little window shopping. Block W? Um, obviously. Unless, of course, you're tempted to spend all your savings at Distro. Block W it is. I guess today's a shopping day. Hey, it was cool hanging out. We received some new stuff after you left yesterday. If you wanted to check it out, come by. Hey, I'll try to drop by soon. Cool, we can chat about your song ideas too. Or not. When did I get Satria's number? Alright. I guess I gotta go stroll around Block W. And I can run now, so it won't take me fucking long to get there. Run! <laughs> Hell yeah. Block W. Um, maybe I should go to... record store again see what's up with Satria oh Satria's not working today okay guess maybe I won't see Satria is he in the coffee shop Satria <laughs> where are you Satria Ready? Maybe uh in the alleyway. 
Let's go to the alleyway. Is there anywhere in here that I can actually go into? There's a photo studio. Oh. Oh. Huh? What's going on here? Looks like some kind of photo shoot. I can see that. I'm not a completed. Wait. Isn't that Regina? You should go say hi. She looks busy. I don't want to bother her. Grandma! What are you doing here? Hey, Regina. Sorry, you didn't have to come over here. It's all good. I'm on break anyway. Did Adit send you to spy on me or something? Whoa. That's a weird thing to say. That is a weird thing to say. Uh... Relax, I'm just kidding. But seriously, what are you even doing here? You're not exactly the go shopping alone type. She's got you there, Ram. I'm not exactly alone. <laughs> You're here, aren't you? Listen, if you don't want to talk to me, you can just say so. No need to be rude. What? Ugh, no, sorry, I'm just struggling. Trying to find something to distract me. Having trouble riding again? How did you know? It's all Adit ever talks about, you and your stupid band. Okay, wow. Firstly, that's rude. Wow, she's mad. Sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's fine. It's just... whatever. You're fine, Rama. Let's just change the subject. Okay. So, what do you think of the set? I gotta be honest, it is bugging me a little. I think it's amazing! Looks good to me. What's bothering you? I just wonder if all the warm colors are clashing with my cool outfit. Uh, say something smart, Rama. Yeah, off season aesthetics to be sure. Right? Maybe I'll say something to the set designer because they love it when the models have opinions. Um, are you being sarcastic? Sorry, I guess I'm just not really familiar with the world of modeling. Oh my god, Rama, you can't really be that dense. So people need to stop calling you dense. Yeah, why do people keep saying that? Because you are, you tell me. Ugh, it's fine. Just don't assume that everyone is as well-intentioned as you. And I know you've kind of had your head buried in the sand since, well, since Cinta. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up again. You came here to distract yourself, not dig up old feelings. Who is she calling old? Tell you what, I've got to get back on set in a minute. Why don't you hang out for the rest of the shoot? I can buy you a coffee afterwards or something to apologize. Apologize for what? For being rude. I wasn't like super nice to you. Totally not your fault. Plus, you might get inspired. Come on, I could use the company. Um, well, sure, I guess. Uh, I guess this is my day. Awesome, just try not to get in the way and I'll see you soon. Uh, okay. Guess I'll just stand here. She was being weird, <laughs> right? I don't know. She's just Regina, I guess. I wonder where Adit is. I think his phone is off. Haven't heard from him at all today. Yeah, Adit's been a bit weird. I love how her earrings just... Oh, hell yeah. Look at that outfit. <laughs> She looks great. I didn't expect her to be so good at this. Sometimes I wonder what she sees in Adit. No, Ma, that's your friend. I know. She's just like always annoyed with him. Whatever, it's none of my business. That's right. It's not. Oh, looks like they're done. She's coming back. Hey, thanks for waiting. What did you think? You were. It was awesome. That's it? Um, yeah. Relax, I'm just kidding. She's telling you to relax? <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. I'm sure Kakmos would love to see us. I don't know if Kakmos loves to see anyone. <laughs> yep, that's probably true. Back in here, having their mint lattes. So, so? Kind of weird being here, just the two of us. Why is it weird? I don't know, it just never happened before, I guess. It's always been like me meeting up with you and Ardit or a show. And I guess you and Cinta weren't really that close before she died. 
I mean, uh, yeah, I guess not. Are you okay to talk about this? I thought you wanted to distract yourself. <laughs> Believe me, Cinta's never very far from my thoughts. Ooh, guilty. You're right though, probably shouldn't think about it. I should just focus on my songs instead, like I said I would. No time to get caught up in feelings. But they're important. That's true. Sorry, you know, it's just like we're always saying goodbye to someone, right? Maybe that's a song worth writing. That's all I meant. Is she talking about herself? Are you saying goodbye to someone? What? No. <laughs> no. Mm. Interesting. Anyway, for real, what did you think of the shoot? How'd I do? You were incredible. Stop, really? Felt kind of awkward, maybe. No way, you were so natural. Like you suddenly became a different person. Was that a compliment? Yeah. Oh, well, thanks. I've been doing this a long time, you know. Ever since I got into my mom's makeup for the Cartini Day celebration in kindergarten. I wore a kabaya for the first time. I was hooked on fashion then, for sure. Then I started modeling too, and well, here I am. I don't think I've ever heard her talk so much. It's cool to hear you be so passionate about it. It must be like how you think about music, right? It is! Yeah, kinda, I guess. Meeting other creative people is just the best. I feel like we just get each other, you know? I know exactly what you mean. See? <laughs> anyway, I gotta get back to it. Off to the next thing. Where are you headed? Oh, just following my feet, I think. Ooh, you should steal that for a song. Wow, you're a real poet. I'm full of surprises. Are you gonna stay here? Yeah, I think I'll hang out and work on some lyrics. Thanks for the drink. See you around, Rama. She's kind of cool. Admit it, she was acting weird. She was acting a bit weird. I don't know, she seemed nice. She's never that bubbly with you, Rama. I just think she was happy. Felt like she was overcompensating. For what? I have no idea. She did also seem extra mad about Adit. See? Whatever, I don't think it's a big deal. Fine. Just... Be careful with her. Okay? Whatever you say. I'm just gonna focus on my lyrics for a bit. <laughs> Good boy, Rama. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Brain. Today. Sure did. Time to go home, I guess. Wait, no, I wanted to go into the record store. Hey, Mama. Thanks for hanging out today. I had a good time. It was nice to just talk, you know. Feel like I have a new perspective now. Cool. Yep. Lol. Okay. At last, the bed's in sight. I know I'm supposed to at least write something, but. so familiar are you saying you don't think it's me no i know it's you and i'm happy it is i've missed you a whole lot so much has been happening lately tell me how you feel i don't even know time has been moving so fast N no that's not true time has been moving so slow and i feel like i'm caught in it isn't that worse somehow everything was normal and now it's like i don't know what to do not by myself that's been happening in the last few days. Yeah, I met up with Adit and Tasia, who are restarting the band, and I've been meeting some new people. I went to therapy for the first time. You know that already, don't you? Wait, don't you already know all of this? <laughs> I want to hear you say so. You know I always like listening to you talk. You'd always tell me about so many things that I remember differently. What do you mean? Just what I said. We never remembered things the same. But it's fine, because everyone remembers the things they care about most. 
That's why memories are so individual. Yeah, but now they're all I have. Memories of you, your voice in my head. I wish you could stay. It's so hard to concentrate on what's right in front of me when I'm thinking of the past. I don't like feeling isolated like this. I really wish I had been there. Hmm. The past can't change, Rama. And you're doing a good job in the present. Plus, you know I'm always here. Just get some rest, okay? I'm afraid if I close my eyes, I won't see you anymore. <laughs> That's not how it works. Yeah, but I decide when you see me. Trust me. <laughs> Let's just cherish the time we have together. Okay. I don't want it to end. It doesn't have to. Not if you don't want it to. Remember? You can always talk to me. I can always talk to you. Oh, that's the demo. No! Uh, okay. There you go. That is the demo. That is the demo of After Love EP. Like I said when I started this a while ago, um, this game has a planned release date for the third quarter of 2024. And I'm actually going to probably play this game. It, I really like the concept. I love stories that deal with real life issues and grief is something that we will all eventually have to go through. And yeah, I feel like the fact that they're finishing the game even after the, the creator of it sadly passed away is just a testament to his vision and how clear he must have set everything out for everyone. They did say that the um, creator had a clear vision and they were adamant that they were going to complete it in his memory and I feel like that's beautiful. And I would love to play this game when it is released and I'm very excited to play this game. Um, I loved Coffee Talk and the creator was also the creator of Coffee Talk. So if, I mean, and from what I've played so far, this game is very similar. It's just a beautiful story told to the medium of game. And I'm excited to see how the story is gonna unfold. And I hope that Rama gets a little bit of peace. So we'll have to wait until it comes out and we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching if you did this far. Um, if you want to play the demo and find some things that I didn't throughout this wonderful world they've created of modern day Jakarta, um, then go give it a go. It's on Steam uh, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Play many, many games. Bye.